In inter-organizational processes, many companies work together to create a product or services that keeps customers happy. An inter-organizational process is a collection of activities that occur among companies to transform inputs into outputs that customers value. Except for the core business activities that they perform better, faster, and cheaper than others, modular organizations outsource all remaining business activities to outside companies, suppliers, specialists, or consultants. The term modular is used because the business activities purchased from outside companies can be added and dropped as needed, much like adding pieces to a three-dimensional puzzle. The primary advantage of modular organizations is that they cost significantly less to run than traditional organizations because they pay for outsourced labor, expertise, or manufacturing capabilities only when needed. The primary disadvantage is the loss of control that occurs when key business activities are outsourced to other companies. Also, companies may reduce their competitive advantage if they mistakenly outsource a core business activity. In contrast to modular organizations in which the inter-organizational process revolves around a central company, a virtual organization is part of a network in which many companies share skills, costs, capabilities, markets, and customers. Unlike modular organizations in which outside organizations are tightly linked to one central company, virtual organizations work with some companies in the network alliance, but not with all. So, whereas a puzzle with various pieces is a fitting metaphor for a modular organization, a potluck dinner is a more appropriate metaphor for a virtual organization. All participants bring their finest food dish, but eat only what they want. Another difference is that the working relationships between modular organizations and outside companies tend to be more stable and longer lasting than shorter, often temporary relationships found among virtual companies. The composition of a virtual organization is always changing. The combination of network partners that a virtual corporation has at any one time depends on the expertise needed to solve a particular problem or provide a specific product or service. Virtual organizations have a number of advantages. They let companies share costs, and because members can quickly combine their efforts to meet customer needs, they're fast and flexible. Finally, because each member of the network alliance is best at what it does, virtual organizations should in theory provide better products and services in all respects. As with modular organization, a disadvantage of virtual organizations is that after the work has been outsourced, it can be difficult to control the quality of the work done by network partners. The greatest disadvantage, however, is that tremendous managerial skills are required to make a network of independent organizations work well together, especially because the relationships tend to be short and based on a single task or project. Virtual organizations are using two methods to solve this problem. The first is to use a broker, and in traditional, hierarchical organizations, managers plan, organize, and control. But with the horizontal, inter-organizational processes that characterize virtual organizations, the job of a broker is to create and assemble the knowledge, skills, and resources from different companies for outside parties, such as customers. The second way to make networks of virtual organizations more manageable is to use a virtual organization agreement that, somewhat like a contract, specifies the schedules, responsibilities, costs, payouts, and liabilities for participating organizations.